Signs and caution tape are now up at Black's Beach, warning people about the unstable cliffs. A big chunk collapsed today, sending sand, rocks, and boulders tumbling down the bluffs and onto the beach. We're told that fortunately no one was hurt. Tonight, CBSA's Jenny Day looks into a, a closer look at this bluff collapse and joins us now with more. Jenny? Wow, good evening. Apparently those on the sand heard that rumble and were told the rocks fell slowly enough that everyone was able to get out of the way. The recent heavy rain and king tides have definitely made our beautiful bluffs more unstable. Scripps Institution of Oceanography researchers were out there surveying the damage in the Torrey Pines area just a few hours ago. They say this may be the biggest collapse Black's Beach has seen in 20 years. That's about how long they've been mapping the changes along our coastline. It was around 2 o'clock this afternoon when the earth gave way. Chopper 8 giving us an aerial view of the erosion. There's something special about these, the, this particular beach. These are very high cliffs and typically the higher the cliff, the farther it's able to eject material out onto the beach. So, you know, if you want to come to the beach, come during low tide, walk away from the bluffs. Yeah, it is just wild to see. These cliffs are hundreds of feet high and are located just north of La Jolla Shores. Local surfers who are out there almost daily were surprised to see just how much of the cliff collapsed. Like, I definitely get nervous when there's so many people just laying straight under the cliffs because it could happen at any time. It made the beach a whole lot shorter, that's for sure. It's a big change. I mean, it changes the face of the beach. We also spoke to local geologists who say the cliffs will remain even more fragile than normal for the next month or so because of the recent wet weather. So the big takeaway, whether you're up above or down below in the sand, is to stay as far back from the bluffs as possible. Reporting in studio, Jenny Day, CBS 8.